In 1 John chapter 2, verse 27, the Bible says, But the anointing which you have received of him abideth in you, and you need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches, teaches you of all things, and is truth, and is, and is no lie, and even as it had taught you, you shall abide in him. In Luke chapter 4, verse 18, the Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Say, let the anointing that break the yoke fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing that break the yoke fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV. A TV station that will teach you how to interpret your dreams with warfare prayers. Today we are looking on a very, very important topic. And this topic is so, so crucial in the body of Christ today. And the topic is dream of being anointed with oil. Dream of being anointed with oil. Well, how do you feel when you dream about being anointed in the dream? Can you figure out the face of that person anointing you in the dream? Or is the person that's anointing you is your pastor or your godfather? Or do you even feel that a false prophet is anointing you in the dream? And how often do you normally fall, find yourself being anointed in the dream? Or do you discover in your dream that a strange hand is laying hands on you? Or maybe in some cases, maybe as the man of God is about to anoint you, the anointing hoy got finished. Or how do you also feel? Do you feel happy towards being anointed in the dream? Or you felt unhappy? Or you felt so sad about the experience of the anointing? Depending on the contents of your dream, anointing in the Bible is a very, very important material. Praise the living Jesus. For example, when a priest pour oil on your head, then it means that you will receive a blessing from the anointing of that prince. Praise the living Jesus. Jesus Christ encourages his followers to anoint themselves with oil whenever the fast is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 17. When you satisfy something with oil, automatically you set that in apart for God's use. Praise the living Jesus. Anointing in the body of Christ is a symbol of faith. Anointing in the body of Christ is the symbol of power. Anointing in the body of Christ is a symbol of sanctification. Praise the living Jesus. When we are talking about anointing, we are talking about dedication. Praise the living Jesus. Hall is used for blessing and healing of the sick as taken from the book of Matthew chapter 14 verse 39. Anointing oil is to prepare yourself or is to prepare someone to receive from the Holy Spirit. In John chapter 2 verse 20, hall was used primarily to set apart who are in God's service. Are you a priest or are you a pastor, a prophet, an evangelist, an apostle that is watching this broadcast right now and you have been dreaming about being anointed in the dream? Then it's a good dream. In the place, in the body of Christ, there's a place for, for functioning in the place of your career, in the place of your ministry. Today, we are going to look at a number of meanings about being anointed in the dream. Number one. It represents empowerment. Number two, it represents endorsement, ordained for a ministry. Number three, it represents 
Holy Spirit impartation. When you are being anointed in the dream, it means the impartation of the Holy Spirit. Number four, it represents purification of soul, body, and spirit. When you are being anointed in the physical or in the, in the spiritual world, it means the purification process of your soul, your body, and the spirit. Then number five, it represents grace to function in the ministry. Then number six, it represents divine calling for specific assignment. Divine calling for specific assignment. The story of Saul is a bad story for those who understand the anointing of error and mistakes. In the Bible, Samuel specifically pour anointing oil on Saul's head to make him a king in Israel. The oil was to separate him for a special tax. Saul need that anointing in order to rule Israel. As taken from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 1. I pray for you today. Just as Saul ended in a bad way, if you are a minister of God watching you right now, watching me right now, may you never end in a bad way in the name of Jesus Christ. As a minister, there are bound to be mistakes, there are bound to be errors. But those are the plans of the enemy so that your ministry will scatter, so that your the congregation will be destroyed, there will be division, there will be rebel, there will be enmity. I pray every agenda of the enemy against the church shall scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the living Jesus. So in some cases, when you are anointed on the head, that is the spirit of purification. That is the spirit of impartation. Now, the person that anointed you in the head, that means that that person, you, you need to be attached with the anointed of that person. Now, if a known man of God with a good background, anointed you on the head, automatically he has transferred that grace to function, to enlarge, just like Jabez enlarged, as God enlarged the coast of Jabez. That anointing that was placed on your head is for you to function primarily in the areas of your calling. But if a strange person anointed you in the dream, definitely that is an evil laying of hand. Do you know what that means? That is the spirit of error and mistakes. In some cases whereby you dreamt where a pastor, a prophet, anointed your hand, that is a good dream. It means that um, whatever you are going to lay your hands upon with that hands is going to prosper. As they lay their hands upon your head, it means that fruitfulness has been associated with your hands. As that pastor, as the man of God lay hands on your hand, it means that whatever thing you have started, you are going to finish it. It means that if you are a pastor and anointed oil is being laid on your hand, it means that uh, you are going to use that hand to heal the sick and you are going to heal that, use that hand to deliver the captives. So in some cases whereby you are anointed on your feet, anointed on your feet, that is a good dream. It means a symbol of progress. It means a symbol of good beginning and a good ending. Praise the living Jesus. The Bible says, the step of a man are holder by God. Meaning that once you are anointed, once you have been anointed on your feet, it means that whatever the enemy is planning concerning your calling, concerning your ministry, concerning your, the grace, the gift of God in your life will not come near you. Because that anointing all upon your feet is just like it's just like a seal of God's grace upon your life. Praise the living Jesus. So in some cases, whereby a pastor refused to anoint you. When the pastor have anointed the congregation, but the moment the pastor gets to you in that dream, then he refused to anoint you in that dream. That is a bad dream. It means that uh, the enemy does not want you to get blessed in a particular ministry. Perhaps you are in a ministry under the sermon of a man of God. Perhaps there's a prof there are prophetic declarations that the pastor was saying, the prophet said, ah, there's a person here, this and this. Prophetic declaration was made concerning your case. But the enemy does not want you 
to key in to that prophetic prophetic declaration praise the living Jesus. so when a pastor refuses to bless you or refuse to anoint you meaning that the pastor also in some cases the pastor does not does not want to bless you meaning that there is a something in you that is not connecting to the grace to the anointing of that pastor so in some cases whereby you are demonstrate you are demonstrated after being anointed in the dream maybe a pastor is anointed during deliverance program you are demonstrating in that dream it means that you are under the power under the unction of the almighty god it means that uh, god is using a particular man of god to set you free god is using a particular man of god to heal your broken hearted and god is using that man of god to set every spirit every dangerous spirit that is in your life praise the living jesus maybe in some cases whereby you are feeling unhappy after being anointed in the dream automatically it means that you are not in agreement with the doctrine or with the prayers of that prophet there are so many people like that once they get to a prophet pastor, pastor pray on you pray for them and at the end of the day they are not their feelings their faith does not go against do not go with that pastor so it becomes a big problem and if you are it is your pastor is anointing you in the dream and you're not feeling happy it means that then the enemy does not want you to get delivered under the grace under the ministry of a certain man of god praise the living jesus in some cases whereby you discover that anointing all poor from above a special anointing or poor from above that is a divine endorsement that is a divine endorsement that means that heavens is supporting your plans are you a minister and you are having that dreams it means that god wants you to focus on that area which he has assigned you to do and if you are not a minister you are seeing a hole pour on your body it means that you are soaked with the power of god praise the living jesus because the anointing oil goes with faith and the power of god praise the living jesus so when you are sharing olive oil in a dream automatically you are building a communion you are building a relationship with god praise the living jesus in the book of exodus chapter 29 verse 7 the bible says you shall take the anointing oil and pour it on his head and anoint him which means that there's a good symbol when anointing oil is being placed on your head. When anointing oil is placed on your head, automatically you are going to make good progress and function in life in Jesus' name. So if you dream about this anointing, being anointed in the, in the dream and you are feeling bad, then what are the way out? The way out is to give your life to Christ. The way out is to repent from every known sin. The way out is to learn to be patient in your situation the way out is to connect to the anointing of a prophet the the way out the way out is to barricade yourself with the fire of the holy ghost praise the living jesus what's the instruction the instruction is for you to embark on three days fasting and prayers between 6 a.m to 6 p.m and take this bible verse luke chapter 4 verse 18 to 19 and say anointing of the Holy Ghost I am available fall upon me in the name of Jesus fall upon me in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen say any power laying evil hands upon my destiny any power laying evil hands upon my destiny wither by fire wither by fire wither by fire wither by fire in jesus name we pray amen take this last prayer point loud and clear say i receive the power to preach the gospel to heal the broken hearted to preach deliverance to the captives in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you are taking that prayer point, congratulations. The Lord 
will refill you with his virtues, with his power in Jesus' name. If you have dreams about being anointed in the dream or you anointed somebody in the dream, don't hesitate to write them at the comment section. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.